Master present simple with easy questions and answers. Does Paul play football? Yes, Paul plays football. What time does Nancy wake up? Nancy wakes up at 9 a.m. Where does Nancy work? Nancy works at a hospital. Do they go to school? Yes, they go to school. Does it rain often here? Yes, it rains often here. What does Paul do on weekends? Paul goes hiking on weekends. Does Nancy have a car? Yes, Nancy has a car. Do you watch TV every day? No, I do not watch TV every day. Does Paul cook dinner? Yes, Paul cooks dinner. When do you study English? I study English every evening. Does Nancy play the piano? Yes, Nancy plays the piano. Where does Paul live? Paul lives in New York. Do you go to the gym? Yes, I go to the gym. Does Nancy visit her family often? Yes, Nancy visits her family often. What does Paul eat for breakfast? Paul eats cereal for breakfast. Do they speak English? Yes, they speak English. Does it get cold in winter? Yes, it gets cold in winter. When do you read books? I read books at night. Essential English Questions and Answers A1 Level Basics What is your name? My name is James. Where are you from? I am from London. How old are you? I am 30 years old. What do you do for a living? I am a teacher. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog. What is your dog's name? My dog's name is Cooper. What is your hobby? My hobby is reading. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. What is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is football. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Lion King. What is your favorite book? My favorite book is Harry Potter. What is your favorite season? My favorite season is summer. Where do you live? I live in New York. How many languages do you speak? I speak two languages. Do you like traveling? Yes, I like traveling. Where did you last travel? I last traveled to Paris. Do you have a brother or sister? Yes, I have one sister. What is your sister's name? My sister's name is Emily. What is your dream job? My dream job is to be a pilot. Discovering the Charm of Vienna Hi Fiona, have you ever been to Vienna? No, I haven't. But I really want to go. Have you been there? Yes, I went there last year. 
It's a beautiful city with so much history. That sounds amazing. What did you like the most about Vienna? I love the architecture, especially the Schönbrunn Palace. And the food is delicious. Oh, I love trying new foods. What should I try if I visit? You should definitely try Wiener Schnitzel and Zahertorte. They are famous Viennese dishes. Yum! I can't wait to try them. Did you visit any museums? Yes, I went to the Kunsthistorisches Museum. It has an incredible collection of art. That sounds great. I enjoy visiting museums. How about public transport? Is it easy to get around? Yes, the public transport is very efficient. You can take the tram, bus, or subway. That's good to know. Did you stay in a hotel or an apartment? I stayed in a hotel near the city center. It was very convenient. Sounds perfect. Thank you for the tips, Albert. I'm excited to plan my trip to Vienna. You're welcome, Fiona. Have a great trip. Master English question words easily. What is your name? My name is John. Where do you live? I live in New York. When is your birthday? My birthday is in January. Why are you learning English? I am learning English for my job. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Sarah. How old are you? I am 20 years old. Where do you work? I work at a bank. Which is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10 p.m. When do you eat breakfast? I eat breakfast at 7 a.m. Why do you like football? I like football because it is fun. Who is your teacher? My teacher is Mr. Smith. How do you get to school? I get to school by bus. Which book are you reading? I am reading Harry Potter. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is kebab. Where is the library? The library is next to the park. When do you go to the gym? I go to the gym on Mondays. Why do you study every day? I study every day to learn more. Who is your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Tom Hanks. How do you spend your weekends? I spend my weekends with my family. Effective family communication, a long and engaging English conversation. Hi Bianca, how are you doing today? Hi Charles, I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm good too, thanks. I was thinking about family communication lately. How important do you think it is? Oh, it's very important. Good communication can make a family strong and happy. What do you think? I completely agree. In my family, we have regular family meetings to discuss any issues and plan activities together. Do you do something similar? Yes, we do. We try to have dinner together every evening. It's a time for us to talk about our day and share our thoughts. That's a great idea. It must help everyone feel connected. It does. It also helps us resolve any misunderstandings quickly. Do you find it easy to communicate with everyone in your family? Most of the time, yes. But sometimes, it's a bit challenging especially with my younger brother. He's a teenager and prefers to stay in his room. I understand. Teenagers can be tough to communicate with. Have you tried finding common interests to talk about? 
Yes, we both like video games, so I often join him for a game. It helps us bond and makes it easier to talk about other things. That's a good strategy. In my family, we all love watching movies. So, we have a movie night every Friday. It's a fun way to spend time together. That sounds like fun. Do you think there are specific things that families should avoid when communicating? Definitely. I think families should avoid interrupting each other and should really listen when someone is speaking. It's important to show respect. Yes, listening is key. I also think it's important to avoid blaming each other for problems. It's better to work together to find a solution. Exactly. Positive communication can solve many issues. Do you use any special techniques to improve communication in your family? We try to use I statements instead of you statements. For example, instead of saying you never listen, we say I feel unheard. It makes a big difference. That's a great tip. It's less confrontational and more about sharing feelings. I think it can help reduce arguments. Yes, it does. And how about expressing gratitude? Do you think it's important in family communication? Absolutely. Showing appreciation for each other can strengthen family bonds. We try to say thank you often and acknowledge each other's efforts. That's wonderful. Small gestures can make a big impact. Do you also involve everyone in decision making? Yes, we try to include everyone's opinions, especially for big decisions. It makes everyone feel valued and respected. That's great advice. Including everyone can help prevent feelings of resentment. Do you have any other tips for good family communication? I think it's important to have some family traditions. It creates a sense of belonging. Do you have any traditions in your family? Yes, we do. Every Sunday, we have a big family brunch. It's something we all look forward to, and it brings us closer together. That's lovely. Traditions can create lasting memories. It sounds like you have a very connected family. We try our best. It takes effort, but it's worth it. Thanks for the great conversation, Bianca. Thank you, Charles. I enjoyed it too. Family communication is such an important topic. Learn English grammar articles made easy a one level explained what is an article. An article is a word that defines a noun as specific or unspecific. What are the two types of articles in English? The two types are definite the and indefinite a and. When do we use the? We use the for specific things. When do we use a? We use a before a consonant sound for general things. When do we use an? We use an before a vowel sound for general things. Is the used for both singular and plural nouns? Yes, the is used for both singular and plural nouns. Is a used before plural nouns? No, a is used before singular nouns only. Is an used before consonant sounds? No, an is used before vowel sounds. Can we use the with uncountable nouns? Yes, we can use the with uncountable nouns. Give an example with a. This is a book. Give an example with an. She ate an apple. Give an example with the. They visited the Eiffel Tower. Can the be used before proper nouns? Yes, 
when we are referring to something specific. Is it used with professions? Yes, for example, he is a doctor. Can it be used with our? Yes, for example, it took an hour. Is the used for unique things? Yes, like the sun or the moon. When do we use the with geographical names? We use the with rivers, oceans, and mountain ranges, like the Amazon. Can a be used with adjectives? Yes, for example, he is a good boy. Is in used with silent h words? Yes, like an honest man. Do we use the before names of countries? Usually no, but exceptions like the Netherlands.